And tonight at 6, a Philadelphia SWAT officer shot while serving a warrant this afternoon. Fortunately, that officer's bulletproof vest did its job. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Dawn Timoney. And I'm Chris O'Connell. The shooter has been arrested. Our Kelly Rule is live in North Philadelphia where this all unfolded. Kelly. Well, Don and Chris, you said it. Fortunately, that officer was released from the hospital this afternoon to be able to go home to his family without any serious injuries. But Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw says what happens today does speak to the level of violence they are dealing with every single day. It's sickening. It's sickening. Philadelphia Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw back outside Temple University Hospital Friday afternoon to talk about another dangerously close call. Police say a man shot a SWAT officer as he assisted the gun violence task force with serving a drug warrant. Fortunately, the bullet struck the officer's bulletproof vest. He was not injured. It shows how emboldened uh, the individuals uh, we're dealing with have become. Uh, they're becoming increasingly violent. It doesn't matter uh, who's around. It doesn't matter the time of day. It doesn't matter the location. Scene ain't safe yet, guys. It happened just before one Friday afternoon at 2nd and Lehigh Streets. Police say as the SWAT team approached the third floor unit door above the Albert Barber shop, a man fired two shots through the wall, hitting the SWAT officer in the vest once. Police say the man then jumped out a back window to a second floor roof holding his gun, and one of the SWAT officers set up behind the building shot at him. He wasn't hit, but SWAT officers were able to arrest the man. Our camera was rolling as several individuals were brought out in handcuffs, but police say some of the people may only be in custody for questioning. Members of the legislature who claim they support police could really support police by getting more of these guns off the street. Investigators spent the rest of the afternoon searching the building. Police say it was also a hazmat situation due to the drug investigation. Police say they recovered at least one gun, and after spending time on a roof behind the building, officers walked away with an evidence bag. Commissioner Outlaw says drugs are a driving force behind some of the surging gun violence. That's why we were out here today. We're out here making sure that we get into custody the worst of the absolute worst. We did that today, but it was a close call. And this has to stop. And you're looking live now at the scene. A DEA investigator just walked back into the building with an evidence box. So this investigation active and ongoing tonight. FOP President John McNesby did release a statement today saying in part that they expect the DA's office to fully prosecute this case. Police still have not announced uh, the shooter's name or any potential charges. But again, the investigation is still ongoing tonight. Don. All right, Kelly Rule, thank you. And